we're back. We're back in the uh, wonderfully weird world of uh, Skyrim. And we are actually in a goblin camp, and we're trying to help the the dru the gob the oh, vile idolatry makes my stomach turn. For once, the goblins' decorations are an improvement. Yeah, apparently some messed up stuff happened in this uh, building. Uh, but yeah, the uh, none of you the, are worthy. Such a disappointment. So how do we get closer to her? So the dru Us true souls command will the blood of non-believers. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Next, I wonder. Okay. Up we go. All right. What now? Get a little privacy. All right. So the druids. Might be. We'll pay him a visit in return. Sell him some real fun. So the, this game is is really fun, but it's super goofy sometimes. The the humor, Larian Studios does a really good job. I think that sets them apart from a lot of different studios. Uh, the all their games that I've played, I've only played a little bit of Divinity Two, and I have played through all of Dragon Commander. Um, not for this channel. You, I do have. If you're curious, I do have stream with a, a dragon commander that you can watch if you like it's super super cool uh but i wasn't able to complete it quite but i have gone through it in its entirety and one thing about them is they do humor very well i think that kind of sets them apart from a lot of different rpgs so um yeah it's uh they have a good sense of humor <laughs> but uh uh yeah so there are these druids that we ran into, and uh, tieflings that were living with them. Tieflings are like these demon creatures, and then the druids were like elves and dwarves and a variety of, like, uh, uh, just druidic, you know, shape-shifting animal, one with nature kind of people. And so, at any rate, yeah, the goblins were attacking both the tieflings and the druids, and the tieflings were kind of bringing the goblins to the druids, in all fairness. And the druids like, we're going to just, like, use our magic and skadoosh out of here. And, um, yeah, like, uh, there's, like, a tense situation with the tieflings. They kind of put them in a pickle. So, uh, you know, a little rude. A little rude of the druids, I'd say. But on the same token, you know, they do want to save their uh, sacred uh, forest. And, and how do you say... Um, yeah, the uh, that was the best way they could think of was just by magically transporting it to another realm or area or dimension. So they're about to padoof out to the nothingness and leave the tieflings behind to get killed by the goblins. So we decided to go, we volunteered alone to go um, kill the goblin uh, leader and so far, so good. So far, so good. We've avoided putting poop on our face. We've gotten through their camp. Um, if you watched some of the earlier episodes, we used a lot of subterfuge. So you lot, we used some a little bit of manipulation, a little bit of subterfuge, and we got through. And uh, yeah, so we're we're getting closer to meeting the goblin leader. I'm assuming you know whoever that may be. Um, the goblins are now with a entity called the Absolute. Which they worship that's different than their goblin entity and it seems to be a universal entity and that leads me to believe that it might have something to do with the mind flayers because it does have a psychic element to it um anyone the people that are hardcore follow the absolute tend to have a have a, a, a psychic resonance that reminds me of the uh parasitic worm that causes uh anyone infected by the mind flayer to um act the same way so i'm gonna go ahead and return we'll try to get a hold of the goblin meter and we'll try to 
um, hopefully diplomatically discourage them from, you know, consorting with the absolute or discourage them from uh, attacking the tieflings. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Goblins are not known for their manners at the best of times. So this could, this should at least be entertaining, but maybe not fruitful. Super cool. Smells like burnt flesh in here. Yeah, apparently, like this uh, temple was used for some like evil rituals. You know, it just seemed like some messed up stuff went down. The true soul guy, huh? Somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? What can I say? Needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. It's not enough for me to go around. I don't want it to go. <laughs> don't want a bunch of strangers touching me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and yeah, I'm not gonna let you burn me for life on a whim. I unless I assume this mark has a purpose. Why should I let you brand me? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ooh la la. You slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Only us, only we, right? Yourself Am I right? Sting. Only we who follow the absolute? Um... Actually, I'd rather not Maybe go through. You don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a Paris darkness, seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. So we succumb to the temptation of you misusing our mind flare powers to manipulate people, people's uh, um, thoughts. To try to abuse that uh, uh, authority. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna. Not mind, mind, um, are her. You'll we'll sever the connection. One another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Mind sharing is. Got it's... some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls got to look out for one another. You think if, if, if people practiced this mind flare ability, like. They'd be super. The world would be super traumatized if this took off. Like all everyone in Baldur's Gate Three would be like, "We're traumatized." I didn't want to know that. I didn't want to know. There's some things meant to be personal. Do you think you can fix surface causing these shadows? They're creature inside my head. Can you help with that? Any help you person? I'm not a healer. Can we talk this? Probably this sense of matter. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Princess, we want person. the mark. Why do they think yeah. they're talking to a god? I was good enough for the Absolute. It definitely does seem like, for a universal thing, that there is a hierarchy, and it's those who have the Mind Flayer Parasite and those who don't. I'm assuming that's what's going on. Looks like a little mild vandalism here. Um... 
can we wits and blades always sharp hmm. if we can break up the party have to keep pushing okay she go there blood no never mind I wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay, I think she wanted to talk to us privately. Oh wow. We are just rambunctious. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. <laughs> Ready to clear your head. Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Give it a try. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. I have a feeling it's and the I mind players, the and they're not going to be excited about me being there. Creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Resist. What should we do? Should we be intimate? Let's. Let's uh. I have a feeling if we resist, she'll, she'll get mad at us, and then we're surrounded, and then we'll die. So, maybe we'll gain something from her. The mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye, and then the vision lurches, and you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Super weird. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Well, I don't really want to leave it up to a goblin to remove the mind player parasite. I've been feeling this early in the game, they're not going to let it happen, but it's worth a shot. Don't well, there's so many days to become a mind player. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. I don't know what we could do to prepare. Curiosity is going to kill me. Just, I wonder what they're going to do. You won't regret this. Being I'm feeling I will. You know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. Hmm. Well, maybe it's like you go to sleep and then she performs some autopsy or surgery. This is crazy, but I want to know. I want to know what happens. But it's against my nature. But it's to give a little anesthesia. She's like, oh, there we go. Sweet dreams. I'll see your rugly mug on the other side. What if it wasn't a goblin that they would have gone about it differently? Okay. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. I know that much. I saw the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out. 
Your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Doesn't that sound pleasant? You're infected for the same thing that happened to you. Yeah, I think this no. absolute is all mine, player. I'm stronger than ever, and I've got the absolute on my side. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet, a ferocious squiddy, all for myself. It's like a dangerous cat. Test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. She's try her rogue skills. Yeah, I feel just because of our current condition, we're not. We need to be a roguish ranger because we can't seem to win otherwise. I don't need any attention right now. On my way. See, so I have one guard. She she looks like a big girl. The girl I would not tangle with. door open which is gonna be bad for us man there's all these different locations eat the goblins to keep the goblins rescue volo let's rescue volo he seemed like a nice guy and i feel bad for getting him in trouble trying to support his the art or you know his uh, art but it backfired best be on my way This place. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop. Ah, here to see your friend, have you? Come and join him if you like. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Uh oh. That seems like a very dicey. <laughs> Literally, but we'll give it a try. Getting a twenty. Yikes. You I'll believe that when I see it. 
Get out then! Wasting my time like that! Oh my gosh. Well... Maybe we'll try it again in a bit after we've been able to rest and use it for our powers. But I'm also worried that every time we use our powers, we, uh... become more and more like a mind player and that might speed up our transfer transformation yeah i figure we'll take a little side journey and get volo first if we can talk our way out of it if we can't talk our way out of it it's gonna be super hard but if we kill like the, the head of the goblins, then you know it's gonna be really hard to find him because we'll probably be running for our lives. Jeez Louise. you Volo? Looks like there's some humans here. Weird. Or what their story is. It's good to be among allies, isn't it? The Absolute's blessings have brought so many together. It's another one with the cult. Um... Volo, where art thou, Volo? Where didst thy go, thy, thy rogue thee, then thy thus? Rescue the druid Aslan. How? Where? Hmm. Yeah, this environment seems like there's definitely some kind of uh um temple here before which i guess was not used for good things um i don't know Rescue Volo, huh? I'm just kind of curious if she's still where we left her. Okay. Got a halfling. It's kind of weird. So apparently the absolute like takes different people from different races and the only thing that they had in the only thing they have in common is they're, I think they're infected by the Mind Flayer virus. So, but they view it as some kind of religious thing called the Absolute. Ah, here we go. Hey, good to see ya. Hmm. 
Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. Yeah, I think so. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. All right, can we? Still getting used to all these different menus. Okay, I think we're linked now. This way. All right. Where are... Where is Volo? Where art thou, Volo? We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. No yeah. dead any relic. Get down there and stop complaining! Her... Yikes. For a universal religion, I feel like the absolute is very picky in its own way about who gets to join. turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. Dragonborn. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Guess it doesn't matter what you are. You're a true soul. And that's good enough for me. He doesn't speak his next words. Yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. So maybe people know that they're infected by a Mind Flayer virus, but they're you temporarily using it. They think they can escape becoming a Mind Flayer, and they're using it to uh, create a cult, I guess. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer, a fearsome creature even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. So they're looking for the artifact, I'm guessing. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I've got plans for you, boy. 
And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call that Shulko Kank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. do this but he's kind of put us in a spot so we're gonna temporarily succumb to using our mind flare powers oh okay so it's it's hard but it's not like it's 50 50 it's not insane nice all right Raxlin's mind reels then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raglan's voice, you ask. Well, it's kind of the 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 absolute question is, what is the absolute kind of, or who is? Is the absolute? Raglin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. Except the mind flayers are pretty messed up. Flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. Who killed you? Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. You're kidding me. Very helpful, Squid. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Should we escape it, and then maybe we'll have a chance for him not to remember that we invaded his mind, or should we uh, ask a final question? Why, yeah, what, what did the killer want? What did the killer want? Visions consume me once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give him the weight. Ragslin pieces your mind, prodding for truth. You, your no true soul. Temptation is strong, but I have a feeling that it would be a bad choice on our part. But he's not a good person either, so it'd be a blessing, but that you know, two two uh wrongs don't make a right. Um Oh, 
Okay. That's tough, but it's not impossible. Oh, nice. Wow, good deal. Let's get roll. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Cyclot once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Like I said, I got plans for you. Report to the drow. Minsar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Praise the Absolute. We don't have to raid the Emerald Grove, but that's gonna be less... less of a hassle. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? I probably shouldn't talk about the artifact right in front of the other people, though. Yeah, interesting, interesting. So, we seem to be getting a little bit further to the bottom of things, but we don't seem to be quite there yet. So we're going to go ahead and save it there. Alright gang, good times, good times. So, um, thank you very much for joining me in Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, yeah, so we're kind of figuring out um, what the Mind Flayer purpose is, what the relationship is to the Absolute, and what we're going to do about the Goblin situation. So until next time, let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments. And uh, yeah, um, if there are any quests you want me to play in particular, and uh, yeah, if you can, if you uh, like the video, give it a like, and uh, if you have any friends that like RPG, uh, open world style RPGs and adventure games, let them know about my channel. I'd be very appreciative. All right, next time we'll uh, uh, see you soon.